And since a lot of people ask me what's actually the best game ready driver to use for Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 2, I'm going to show you how you can sort of find out which one you actually need because there's a huge difference if you're using a Windows 10 or Windows 11 machine. By the way, if the video was helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and don't forget to check out afterwards my full competitive settings guide. So guys, and as mentioned, there's a huge difference if you're actually playing right now Fortnite on a Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC because most of the more outdated drivers, which are not even like that old, they can even just be like from last year, like the one which we're going to take a look at right now here, which you can see is from 2022. But they're most of the time not really supported by Windows 11 guys. So therefore we want to categorize kind of which driver to use on which machine. And as of right now, the driver 527.37 is the best one for Windows 10 machines. As you can see, supported products goes all the way back guys until the 700 series. So therefore, if you have anything kind of from like at least the last 10 years, you should be good to go 100%. Now the thing is guys, it's not as simple as just simply going into your normal control panel, you know, search up the latest NVIDIA driver and uninstall it from there because you're still gonna have a significant amount of data left on your PC, which could somehow interrupt with installing a different driver version. So therefore what you wanna do rather guys is actually now search for a tool which is gonna be called Display Driver Uninstaller. I have the whole entire tool here already prepared on my PC and what we can basically make sure with it is that all the data which are somehow linked to the previous driver which we once installed on our PC get fully removed. So therefore what we only have to do is click on to select device type, click on the GPU, NVIDIA, and there we already go, guys. We have a bunch of options. And you can find this tool directly from my official website, guys. Just simply go under Lestrap's blog spot and then under input delay, you will find a post with the same name and the same thumbnail as the video you're watching right now. And once you get redirected, you can get it from there. And there we can see now a bunch of options, guys. And the one which is going to be suitable for the most amount of people is going to be clean and restart. Highly recommended, as you can see already. You just simply click onto it. I'm obviously not going to do it right now because I already have the right driver installed. But what this basically is going to do is it's going to uninstall the whole entire driver from your PC, restart, and then afterwards, your PC is going to be clean. What you then have to do is actually connect your monitor from actually your GPU to your motherboard on the backside, guys. So therefore, if you don't know how to utilize your motherboard on the backside of your PC, actually to get an output to your monitor, do some research on it before you even think about applying any of these steps. And once you're done with that and you already downloaded the version, which I mentioned previously, guys, you can just simply continue with the installation process, finish it up and restart your PC. But if you're on Windows 11, on the other hand, you just simply have to go into your GeForce experience. So therefore, once we're on our desktop, we're gonna go into the search bar, type in the GeForce experience, open it up, and then you're gonna go under drivers, guys. And there you can click already, check for updates, you know, just simply click onto it once. And we can see the newest version is right now here available, which just released actually around two weeks ago, which is gonna be version 531.18. Because as I said previously, most of these drivers, which are actually the best right now for Fortnite, are sadly not fully available for Windows 11. So therefore, it really makes sense to simply get the latest game ready one. Don't go for any beta drivers whatsoever and just simply download it from here and you're going to be good to go. And if this video was helpful, don't forget to leave a like and make sure to check out the full story of Peter Bot or why Clicks actually has one of the worst gaming setups, but he's still a top performer.